Okay, once again, uh, I welcome you the lecture series of electric power quality. So total uh, 85 students are there in this group, uh, for year group two for uh, first semester. Uh, so <clears throat> we are uh, already completed three units, uh, then uh, uh, we are moving to the fourth unit. So harmonic uh, distortion and solutions. So, so the entire unit, the fourth unit, uh, we are going to discuss the harmonics. How the harmonics are reproduced into the system? What are the reasons behind that one? So uh, then what are the different types to available to calculate the harmonic distortions in the power system? What are the different solutions to identify the harmonics in the system? So, what are the uh, problems faced while the harmonics is present in the power system? How these harmonics will affect the power systems? Okay, so the harmonics are very important one. So that's why, uh, so in our syllabus, uh, they can uh, give in the uh, an entire chapter for these harmonics. Okay, so in the yesterday class, we already, <coughs> sorry, we already discussed the how these harmonics are produced into the system. Okay, then what is the difference between the uh, voltage as well as current harmonics as well as what is the difference between the harmonics as well as the transients? Okay, we are uh, we are already discussed all the things in the last class. So uh, now today class. Okay, so we are going to discuss here. So so power system quantities uh, under uh, non sinusoidal uh, conditions so what are the power system quantities we are consider here so what are the power system quantities here we can assume the power system quantities what are the power system quantities we are talking about the power system quantities not the uh, power quality issues what are the power system quantities active power uh, reactive power rms voltage and power factors all are the uh, phase sequences so some uh, fundamental frequencies uh, all are uh, comes under the power system quantities in pure sinusoidal conditions. So, so in pure sinusoidal conditions, we can assume that there are some RMS voltage in the system, some active power, reactive power, some apparent power. So uh, then power factor, phase, phase sequences, uh, and fundamental. Uh, so all these things are uh, defined for the under fundamental frequency under consider constant fundamental frequency. Now see this, all these quantities, what are the quantities? RMS voltage, power uh, power in the, in the sense reactive power, active power, apparent power, power factor and phase sequences. We are considered for, remember, we are considered for, we are considered for the uh, constant uh, sinusoidal waveforms or pure sinusoidal waveform are uh, a fundamental frequency. What is the fundamental frequency? What is the fundamental frequency? F is equal to the 50 H is our uh, fundamental frequency. So on that conditions, you can assume this all the quantities. For suppose there is a harmonics in the system, you know that uh, uh, what are the main reasons uh, behind this harmonics. There is uh, some harmonics in the system, some harmonic distortion, it's nothing but uh, the problems that uh, uh, that given by the harmonics. So, so when there is a harmonics produced in the system, so we are not no longer we can assume it as a sinusoidal conditions. The waveform I, I already said. So whether that harmonics is look like a sinusoidal, or that harmonic is look like is like this also. This is also the harmonic. The number of cycles per second. If it is 50 hertz, it is a fundamental harmonics. If it is more than 50 hedges, we can treat it as a harmonics. Fundamental harmonic is a basic uh, frequency. Fundamental harmonic are nothing but the, it is the, you can call it as a fundamental frequency, is nothing but 50 hedges is the basic frequency in our Indian system. In some countries like USA and uh, uh, some countries, uh, they are considered the fundamental harmonics is a 60 hedges, but, uh, but in our India, we are considering it as a 50 hedges. Okay, now uh, we can see, so how these uh, quantities, nothing but uh, RMS value, power is nothing but reactive power, <laughs> sorry, reactive power, active power, uh, then at the same time, uh, apparent power is uh, 
there in the power system and there is uh, some harmonics in the system how to calculate that so first one you can consider this some power quantities uh, so first one first category active power reactive power and apparent power you can calculate this uh, this s is nothing but apparent power what apparent power is equal to the vrms into the irms you know that what is vrms v1 by root 2 is nothing but the uh, uh, and a base voltage a terminal voltage a base voltage is the or a load side voltage is the v1 so what is irms i1 by root 2 is the and uh, uh, current is nothing but so in uh, with respect to the time you can treat it as the power p is equal to 1 by t uh, integral 0 to t we have to it dt so in calculate the uh, in angle power angle the formula is like in calculate the the reactive power is like this. this is the active power this is the apparent power active power uh, uh, active power this is the reactive power. you already known this formula so these are the power quantities you can uh, calculate it under uh, uh, normal working conditions so you see these relations so what are the relations p q and s what is p active power reactive power and apparent power relations you can see this q as well as s as well as p the sum so p and q will gives the uh, s apparent power okay so if there is any angle changes in between this so the total quantity is also changes so so this uh, this graph you can assume in the sinusoidal conditions you one thing you should remember under normal working conditions the formulas is like this there are the some powers okay but uh, due to the some uh, uh, some power quality issues nothing but the some frequencies or some harmonics are there is there in the system then after the quantities are uh, nothing but the active power reactive power apparent power and power factor and uh, all the things are rms voltage are changes definitely Okay, you can calculate it by this one. Okay, now see this uh, power factor. So there is some power factor. So you know that power factor simply. What is the power factor? Cosine angle in between the. So a simple definition: cosine angle in between the voltage and current. So this is the pi. This angle you can call it as a power factor. Power factor. So this there is a, some another definition is also there. This is the power factor. Nothing but. is the ratio of uh, active power by apparent power simply so this is also on definition is is nothing but cos theta theta is equal to the is nothing but the cos inverse p by s what is the p by s here you can already see this what is the p by s here you already uh, see this so this is p this is q so this is s this s this is the theta can see this this p and yes angle yes this is angle you see this angle real power and or that but active power and apparent power angle will gives the power factor. this is the power factor. you can see this diagram also relation uh, uh, shift for uh, components of the apparent power you can see this uh, this is the power p uh, then q okay so displacement uh, this is the uh, d is the displacement factor so how much displacement you can uh, there p and q and s you can see this type i will going simply draw this one so this is the angle in between these two this is the power factor you already known these things once again you should uh, see this whenever there is a frequencies or that but the harmonics are there this quantities will change definitely change because Or it changes. If current it changes, according to which the power factor changes, so uh, voltage is also changes. So, so now uh, the third one is the harmonic phase sequences. A very important one, harmonic phase sequences. So you know that in under normal working conditions, the entire power, uh, entire three phase system we can divide into the uh, or in some situations, some calculations purpose we are divided into the three single phase system: R phase, A phase, B phase. okay so for the simpler calculation purpose or other purpose phase a so phase a phase a phase b and phase c for three phase system for simple calculation and analysis purpose you know as i said earlier when there is any power quality problem is arised in the system because of some uh, faults so we cannot expect all the three phases will get the Uh, power quality problem so 
we can uh, we will get the only uh, only phase a will uh, will get affect or phase b will get affect or phase c will get uh, will get affect or phase a and phase b or uh, phase b and phase b, whatever it may at three phases at time will get affect we are not uh, considering always uh, three phases will get the problems okay for the analysis purpose so the better uh, way is uh, for three phase system we can uh, divide into the three single phase that is much more uh, better for analyzing the quantities. So we have, you know that uh, we have three quantities. Yes, yes, see this. So R, Y, B phases, R, A, B, C phases, R, phase R, phase Y, phase B, whatever it may be, R, A, R, B, R, C phases, whatever it may be, R, Y, B, R, A, B, C phases, whatever. So, uh, so you know that uh, the angle differences. So there is a, Equal angle difference in between these three phases. See, yeah, 120 degrees phases. Phase shift. 120 degrees to uh, 240 degrees and 360 degrees. And equal, equal, equal phase shift is there. So that is the normal, normal sinusoidal. There is any uh, harmonics are there in the system. What will happen if this? Uh, Phase sequence is also changes. That what? Why it changes? And currently it changes. Obviously voltage is changes. If, if this voltage is changes, uh, definitely uh, uh, this uh, phase angles are changes. So, so this phase shifts. Uh, we can uh, this three phase system or uh, this three phase system sequences is nothing but one phase, another phase. Yes, this three phase system sequences we can divide into the uh, three three categories: positive phase and negative phase, as well as the zero sequence. Are the positive sequence, negative sequence, and zero sequence. So the positive sequences, uh, the the ranges are displaced. So you know that 120 degrees, whether on normal or normal working conditions, the phase shift is 120 degrees. So the rotation is is from A B C. Nothing but here see this uh, graph. Uh, see this graph A B C. Now this A and B and as well as C are R Y B phases. Whatever it may be, the phase shift is at zero minus 120 and uh, to 40 degrees. In the negative, a negative sign order, in the negative sign order, what is the phase shift ACP? Nothing but here in this direction. Here, yeah, this is clockwise, and this, this direction ACP is nothing but a zero degrees phase shift as well as 120 and minus 120. Here, in this case, this is zero, this is 120, this is minus 120 degrees. So, in the negative phase, is it is zero, 120, this is minus 120 here, this is minus 120. So what is zero sequence? So all the three phases are uh, uh, zero. Okay. So the, this factor uh, will also help for calculating some uh, power factors. You know that some uh, some power factor uh, is mainly uh, depends on the type of flows. Type of flows. Flows. What are the three different three different types of load? We are assuming resistive load, then inductive load, and uh, capacitive. You can assume it as a resistive load. So, what is the power factor range? What is the power factor range? Zero to the unit. One power factor. Usually in our India, uh, 0 0.89 or 0 0.8 uh, 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 less than or equal to greater than or equal to 0 0.8 uh, power factor we are maintaining in our India. So, if it is one, you can uh, it is a unity, but the, uh, that is possible only in ideal cases. So based on these loads, the power factor changes. So you see this uh, uh, power factor. This is voltage. This is current. In phase, this is two. Uh, sorry, in phase with the system, or uh, sometimes uh, you can also uh, you can also draw in phase, or uh, sometimes you can. We can also see the in 90 degrees voltage and current 90 degrees. So as a reference, as a voltage or current or whatever. So for uh, we can take the voltage so as a current is 90 degrees lagging. It is the inductance. If it is 90 degrees leading, or some degrees lag, or some degrees 90 degrees, or this is the capacitance 90 degrees leading. This is the capacitance. 90 degrees lead. So capacitance is the leading, but ex it is not exactly 90 degrees. Some angle, remember, some angle, some angle, lagging, lagging. 
if it is exactly 90 degrees uh, that is the middle case again this is the lagging inductance this is the capacitor whatever the resistance is the phase in phase with the voltage current is in phase with the voltage this is the resistance taken consider as unity power factor but this is possible no this is uh, not possible because of this current if this current is changes the angle between the voltage and current is changes so the power factor angle is changes the power factor changes okay now see this this harmonic phase sequence is also like that if that voltage and voltage and uh, the current run by the system is changes okay obviously the voltage is changes the phase the phase sequences is obviously changes okay okay now uh, you can uh, see this uh, so now see this so uh, we can for suppose uh, for the uh, balanced three phase system for harmonic sequence calculations we can take this and pass to sequence phase rotations uh, consider for example for example if we have uh, uh, get the uh, second order harmonics you know that what is second order third order so f is equal to the 1 into 50 hz remember this is the fundamental frequency fundamental this is the or more than the 2 into 50 hz so 3 into the integer multiple uh, of the values then 4 into 50 hz and so on are in between the 50 and 100 we have, we have the interharmonics now see in this example a second order harmonics in the three phases positive sequence and negative sequence and zero sequence cases you can see this how you can you just simply multiply that sequence values just simply multiply that sequence value in under normal working conditions remember see this diagram this is a this is b this is c so in 50 hz 120 degrees phase shift 0 120 minus 120 degrees 0 degrees So normal. You can see this under frequency for second order harmonics. This is second order. This is the second order. You assume this as a second order, or third order, fourth order, whatever it may be, any order. What will happen? What will happen? You can uh, see this the graph. This is R, this is Y, this is B. R A B C phases. A and B and C phases. A B C phases. What is this one? This is uh, 2 into the 0, 0. This is what is this one? Minus 120 degrees. We see this minus 120 as well as uh, 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 we'll get these uh, angles. Now see this 240. Now 240 means here it can change the axis. So this is the 180 degrees axis. It can change the axis. Now see this when you multiply this. Axis are changes. So one positive sequence as well as for the for uh, third order harmonics for negative sequence and 0, 0 order harmonics. If it is zero order, zero order harmonics or zero order phase sequence, so the, the harmonic effect will not be there in the system. Uh, uh, but, uh, but in case of uh, some fair positive sequence and negative sequence, you see this, you can multiply this value. So 2 into the 0, 2 into the 120, 2 into the 120. You assume this one, after 360, it will cross the above 360 values. So you can, uh, you can know that what is the total uh, total year, 180 and uh, 180. So minus 1 uh, plus 180 degrees and uh, minus 1 uh, minus uh, 180 degrees. Total we have only the 360 degrees angle. But you can see this, it will cross the curve. So now see this, you can remember these points carefully. These three points very important. For the harmonic order, uh, for nothing but the H, uh, H is 1, 7, 13, and so on, generally positive sequences. How this positive sequences? You can multiply this one. You can multiply these values into the zero degrees. Okay, minus one twenty degrees plus one twenty degrees. You will get the so same sequence of values. Okay, na? Uh, at the same time uh, for the order uh, h is equal to five, eleven, and seventeen, we will get the negative sequence values. Simply we will multiply these uh, values. Nothing but uh, five, eleven, and seventeen. You will get the negative sequence. Uh, uh, Waveforms like uh, like this one negative sequence. 
So for the zero sequence, uh, three, uh, nine, and fifteen, you will get the zero sequence. Okay. Then uh, fourth one is also there. Uh, uh, one important thing, very very important one. So in the harmonics, triplet harmonics. Are nothing but the triplet means here. Triplet harmonics, double harmonics uh, is nothing but triplet means here. A uh, h value is equal to the three. Is nothing but f is equal to the three into fifty hedges. Triplet harmonics. So. 3 into 50 edges, 3, nothing but triplet means uh, multiple of these values, 3 and 9 and uh, 15 and so on values, triplet values. So 3, so 3 and above, triplet. So that value is triplet. If it is 1, you can triplet into the 3. If it is uh, 3, triplet into the 9 and so on, like that. You can treat it as a triplet arm. So, so because of this triple n arm, not but triple n arm means for suppose you can consider the 3 into 50 hinges for one second cycle. One second, how many you will get the how many you will get there? So, time one second, how many you will get the so 150 cycles? This is triple n arm. Okay, so not only the third order, so triple n arm is now if, if it is a three, you can call it as a third arm. Third harmonic, third order harmonics. So, so why this uh, triple N harmonics are uh, very important in the power system? It's not but you can see this. So they deserve a special consideration because the system response is often considerably different per triple N than the uh, rest of the harmonics. Why? Why this? Only you can consider the triple harmonics is nothing but 3, 9, and 15. You can see this 3, 9, and 15 for zero sequences. You know that for zero sequences, for zero, zero sequences, 3, 9, and 15 for the zero sequences. So, whenever uh, you can, you can uh, identify the system has the triple harmonics, so because of some faults. Okay, uh, so that response is uh, very uh, much uh, effective in the power system. So, especially the devices like transformers, particularly when you are connected to the transformers in different connections. What are the different connections of transformers? Star and delta connections. And delta and star connections. Again, uh, delta to uh, star grounded and ungrounded. So many combinations are there. Dep depends on the uh, uh, power. So many combinations are there. So, because of this harmonics, remember, any type of harmonics will cause the, uh, some noise in the system. Nothing but this, some transformer hissing noises or transformer heating in the system. So, especially this triple N harmonics is nothing but zero sequences. Zero sequences. So, so it will happen in the zero sequences. So, this triple N harmonics is especially for heating the transform. So, uh, this, uh, this uh, third order harmonic current, you know that harmonics are you can calculate in both voltage as well as the current. Okay, when there is a harmonic current it changes in the system, or nothing but there is a load current it changes, it may be you can treat it as harmonics that may be also leads to the voltage harmonics in the system. Okay, so you can see this some um, triple N harmonics. So because of this, uh, this triple N harmonics, transformer is facing main, main problem because it has overheating. When the transformer is overheating, what will happen? So if the insulation is damages, once the insulation is damages, so the entire tra transformer is goes to the short circuit condition. Okay, so when when which case when the, uh, when that uh, uh, single phase loads are connected to the Y side, nothing but this side. Loads are connected to this side. But suppose uh, when when uh, when same thing. So when you are connected the transformer in this case, uh, start to the delta. Remember, so this case will indicate the uh, this is the load side, the load side. This is the also the load side, the primary and second. So this is the primary, this is the secondary connection. Remember, you can star and delta, rather like this, star and delta, delta and star, 
so this is the primary side as well as secondary side. this is the primary this is the secondary side this is the primary side this is the secondary side for suppose that secondary side you are connected in delta there is some triple harmonics so the uh, so the, uh, this will uh, leads to this problem. okay for suppose uh, we can uh, see uh, uh, this third point the flow of triple harmonics currents can be interrupted by the association isolation uh, transformer connections so isolation transform, uh, transformer connections we can uh, uh, use it to uh, reduces this uh, harmonic synthesis we can see this so some transformer a star connected transformer now see the star okay so some three phases now see this phase a phase b and phase c so neutral you can assume this is neutral now see this this neutral uh, current you can assume it as some sinusoid some sinusoid okay but but you see this because of now see this these are some harmonics now see this under this see this some under this some, some harmonics in the system okay you can consider some uh, triple harmonics you see this how much amount of neutral current is increases in the system because of this harmonics how much amount if the waveform is look like the sinusoidal but how much amount of nearly they can in the conception they can take the in the 30 13 kv system in that 13 kv system you can expected nearly 300 percent of the uh, uh, phase currents are nothing but the neutral currents are increased in the 13 kV system nearly 300 percent okay now see this uh, one more example flow of uh, uh, third harmonics current in the uh, three phase transforms now see these connections this is the star and delta connection this is the secondary side this is secondary side this is the primary side okay so again uh, uh, this is the some uh, star to uh, star connections start to the start actions some neutrals here neutral points here so the, the, these neutrals are connected into the uh, so this uh, this point is connected to the ground now see this ground this is connected to the ground now this this is the neutral point so primary side as well as this is the primary now this is the second you see this uh, how this uh, currents are flowing into the system so this phase a phase b and phase c. a b and c so a b and c a b and c how the triplet harmonics will cause the system now see this this is uh, this is the current path this is the current path you know that very well this is current path so the neutral is going so this is you, you see this uh, this uh, this uh, neutral side and this end you can see this arrows see this arrow. you can observe this arrows how the current is uh, flowing into the system okay so now uh, come to the harmonic indices nothing but how to calculate the harmonics what is the measure for the harmonics how to uh, how to calculate the harmonics uh, which amount of uh, which uh, amount of harmonics are present in the system so that we can call it as the harmonic indices indices okay this harmonic indices so this harmonic indices you can calculate it or nothing but uh, in two ways harmonic indices you can calculate in two ways total harmonic distortion you can calculate uh, calculate it as a you can call it as a thd then next one, uh, uh, total demand distortion. Uh, you can, uh, in the simple form, you can call it as a TDD, total demand distortion. Okay, these two uh, are the measures, are indices to calculate the harmonics in the system. So, uh, these two are calculated both, uh, for both the voltages and as well as current. You know that. This, uh, this uh, THD is calculated for both voltage and the, as well as the current. We already discussed the, this one in the harmonics. 
uh, in the in the second chapter and first chapter in the harmonic concept we already discussed what is thd so what is uh, what is tdd total demand distortion how uh, this will help you to calculate this voltage as well as current harmonics so remember this thd is calculated for both voltages as well as the currents okay so what is uh, this this is a, a small uh, uh, simple uh, thd uh, definition it is it is a measure of effective value of harmonics components of a distorted waveform remember this point waveform of uh, voltage r r current voltage r current now see this point. So this will be calculated both for voltage and current. So THD is a effective value of harmonic components of a distorted waveform of voltage or current. So, uh, so, uh, so what is the main uh, reason? Uh, so when there is a harmonics in the system, you will uh, mainly will get the some heat. You know that you see, you already see this. Some transformers is mainly will get the overheating in the system. Whenever there is a harmonics in the system, so mainly will get the harmonic, uh, nothing but the heating equipment. Equipment may get heated. Once the equipment is start heating, so the equipment, uh, nothing but the insulation is uh, damaged. Once that insulation is damaged, it will leads to the short circuit uh, problem in the power system. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, one second. Now, okay. We can uh, uh, see this again. Uh, this uh, this THD. How to uh, how to calculate this THD for voltages as well as current. You, you can assume that which quantity will use the uh, best or accurate result, or voltage quantity or current quantity. So most of the cases, THD is calculated in the voltage. Voltage. Most case. The there is some reason you can see it in that. Okay, you can uh, see this. Uh, so THD formula. So it is the square root of the uh, m h square. Uh, uh, some summation of uh, m h square by m h square. Uh, so where m h is the RMS value of the harmonic component. So uh, and uh, then h is the quantity of that. So what is this RMS quantity value? So this is the RMS value. So is also can also calculate it in is equal to the m1 uh, square root of 1 plus thd also so so this will be calculated for both the uh, rms value of component so rms value uh, that may be a voltage rms value or that may be of the current rms value you can assume this one. the same formula you can use it for both voltages are current. what is the main drawback of this uh, mm, a harmonics in the power system it will mainly uh, causes the heating or heating of the devices so these are the uh, some formulas to calculate the harmonics in the system okay now see this uh, there uh, it is some uh, example a simple example so this is the thd this graph it shows the thd uh, total harmonic distortions variations for a one one week span of time so this graph is the voltage graph. So voltage THD, voltage THD. So why this uh, THD is helpful to calculate the harmonics? How it will be helpful to calculate the harmonic values? It will helpful to uh, get the how much extra heat any device that is produced. So. So how much heat it will be produced into the system because of some uh, 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 different, uh, some resistive load is applied to the uh, power system. So, so it can also uh, use the, so some additional losses caused by the current flowing through the conductor. So it can use the heat, okay, heat value, it can use the losses. Second point is last, first one is heat. Remember, this is bullet point E. Second one is last of the which one conductor. Then what is the third point here? What is the third point here? So it will also gives the so voltage stress in the capacitor. So stress of the capacitor. 
stress of the capacitor uh, to identify the peak voltage waveforms. So how to identify that stress? So you can see the uh, peak value of that. So this THD is most often is calculated in the voltages. So this graph you can calculate it the 10 kV system, 13.9 kR, 13.2 kV system. You can see this THD. Remember this point. High THD values. So why this THD is? So this THD is uh, is nothing but you know that why these harmonics are produced in the system. What are the main reasons behind the production of the harmonics in the system? Main reason is the nonlinear loads. Remember. Uh, what is the main reasons for producing these harmonics are uh, how these harmonics are injected into the power system so because of the non-linear loads as well as adjustable speed drives asds some small induction motor uh, operating under uh, some uh, automatic starters will leads to the harmonics injected into the system remember these are the reasons some reasons the production of the harmonics so on which time for suppose uh, for 24 hours time on which time the harmonics are uh, more uh, more harmonics are injected into the power system or morning time or afternoon time or evening time or night time on which time you know that for suppose you are considering the uh, industrial loads so 24 hours a day so the harmonics are injected into the system. constant harmonics are injected into the system but whenever you are considering the consumer so it may vary depends upon that time for suppose so power electronic based so for assume it as a power electronic based for the morning times you can on the some uh, uh, some washing machines or some uh, some another power electronic some inverters or whatever it means some another power electronic business so in the afternoon time you are not at all using this uh, this type of machines uh, then the night time you are using some uh, refrigerators uh, nothing but the sorry in uh, air conditioners again some washing machines uh, some other devices some devices so whenever uh, so we are using uh, so how these harmonics are more in the power system because of this uh, non linear this in the system so on which time so they can assume the uh, graph here they can draw in the so uh, this uh, total harmonics are uh, more, the THD value is more in the night and as well as the early morning hours. Since, so on the time non-linear loads are relatively high compared to the amount of linear loads during these hours. So the, the simple reason, whenever you are using the more number of non-linear loads, so more uh, amount of harmonics are injected into the power system. So this is one of the indices for uh, calculating the total harmonic uh, distortion. Then what? Then second one is the total uh, demand distortion. You can also call it as a TDD. This is also one of the measure to identify the how much amount of uh, uh, harmonics are present in the system. So how much amount of voltage that will be changed by because of this harmonics, fundamental harmonics. So how much amount of current that is changed uh, because of this harmonics that will be calculated by the THD. Okay, now this TTD, TDD, nothing but uh, total demand distortion is also one uh, uh, another type to calculate the uh, total harmonics in the power system. So now see this, uh, there are uh, some uh, a small difference uh, in between the uh, uh, this uh, THD as well as TTD value. So you, we already said that, so this uh, THD value is better uh, for calculating the voltage harmonics. So sometimes uh, if you require that one, sometimes you can also calculate the current also. But now see this this uh, TTD value. You can see this point. Current distortion level can be characterized by THD value has been described. But this can be often misleading because a small current may have high THD, but not a significant threat to the system. Now see that's why that's why total harmonic distortion by current value is not considered. Why the reason is this. One. So, 
so total harmonic distortion is mainly uh, calculated uh, for uh, voltage distortions not but the voltage harmonics not for the current harmonics so i mean i'm not saying that uh, we are not at all banning that the current uh, calculations but but you are using uh, or you can uh, we are uh, going to calculate but you can face this problem a small current in thd value a small changes in thd value it shows the significant threat to the power system okay so for example asd is adjustable speed drives asd will exhibit the thd value for the input current so but uh, when they are operated the very light loads also so but but uh, but in the light load conditions you know that what will happen if the current run by the system is very low but but it shows the but what it shows the so current may be of a significant threat or nothing but it shows the it draws the and uh, 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 much amount of uh, current from it shows that value in like that value. but really it is not happening. so uh, so uh, so that's why thd is uh, framework for uh, calculating the current harmonic distance so so that's why an iterable is come comes under the picture again so they can define the another quantity is nothing but the total demand distance okay so that's why this this is uh, very much helpful for calculating the current harmonics current harmonics current harmonics in the power system nothing but this, you can see this total demand distortion formula is equal to square root of summation h is equal to you see this order remember this is the harmonic order remember harmonic harmonic order if it is h is equal to greater than 2 greater than or equal to 2 is the harmonics or greater than 1 Simply, h value is greater than or equal to one is the harmonic value. Remember, harmonic value. This is the harmonic card. This if we, if it is second, you can call it as second order harmonic. If it is a third, you can call it as a triple order harmonics. Are like this. so. What is the maximum value? So h is the maximum. Value. So this is the h. H current, I L current. What is the difference between this? So this is this I L is the peak value. Of the uh, our maximum value of the load current at uh, peak load conditions. Okay, this uh, H will uh, see this uh, some harmonic current value, our fundamental uh, current value that that we can. So where you can measure this I L at the point of commutator. Where you can measure this I L at the point of commutator. how to calculate this point of common coupling why why this concept is comes under picture so what is advantage of this point of common coupling because of this point of common coupling nothing but this this so you can identify this point on that uh, point we, get, we are able to connect the some uh, power compensation devices this is nothing but the some spcs some tcs some trs Uh, some DVRs, these that comes with BFCs, UBQCs are connected. Uh, this PCC point. So, so on that point, we are uh, taking the current value. This is the IL value. So, so uh, this THD and as well as uh, uh, this TDD is both same. So, some THD is helpful for calculating the voltage harmonics. Okay, currents. Then, uh, uh, then TDD. Uh, so, TDD is the number total distance. Demand distortion is helpful for uh, calculating the current harmonics. Okay, so this is these are the two indices. So what are the two indices? THD is one uh, is one quantity, and the TDD is another quantity to measure the harmonic um, harmonics uh, quant uh, harmonic uh, quantity in the power system. in pulses these are major quantities this two these two are using to identify how much harmonics are present in the system okay so uh, once again you can see this uh, today's class 
so uh, so in under normal conditions uh, under normal science order so nothing but under fundamental frequencies in other 50 hz frequency you are uh, taking the some quantities rms values and nothing but active and reactive power all other things if there is any deviation in that fundamental frequency you can call it as harmonics that may be of interharmonics or that may be of um, uh, second order or third order fourth order and so on uh, so any deviation in that frequency we can call it as a harmonics simply any deviation in the voltage we can call it as voltage deviation similarly any deviation in that frequency that may be of uh, less than the 50 edges or that may be of uh, greater than the 50 edges you can treat it as a harmonics in case but but most of the cases you will not get the whenever you are calling it as a harmonic you will not get the uh, less than the 50 edges it is a more than the 50 edges so whenever there is a uh, harmonics are produced in the system because of the non-linear loads because of the non-linear loads so so nowhere you will get the sinusoidal uh, waveform so what will happen we are not getting the sinusoidal waveform so the rms values nothing but the active power reactive power and apparent power values is uh, obviously changes so these values can be calculated by the by using this formulas okay so because of this harmonics the power factor is also changes you see this uh, power factors so what is what is a what is a based on different types of load uh, so the power factor is, uh, changes so what is the power factor so it, it is angling between the voltage and current or, uh, or it is the ratio of active power to the uh, apparent power or real power to the apparent power that gives the power factor so if, if this power is changes what will happen the angle is changes if the angle is changes so what will happen the power factor is change i would say so uh, what is the next one the next one harmonic phase sequences so in generally power system then three phase system so we can divide into the three single phases uh, for uh, uh, simply uh, simply simplification of the characteristics so at the same time for three phase system we can divide into the uh, three phase sequences a positive phase sequence negative phase sequence as well as zero phase sequences Positive phases are nothing but ABC, that phase range is from 0 to 120 degrees and uh, sorry, minus 120 degrees and 120 degrees. So, negative sequence is nothing but 0, 120, and minus 120. Zero sequences is nothing but all the sequences are phase sequences, we can estimate as 0. But due to the some uh, harmonics into the system, what will happen? What will happen in the harmonics into the system? You can see this diagram. You can see this diagram. In the harmonics into the system, the, uh, the phase angle in between the nothing but phase A and phase B angle changes. How much uh, amount it changes is based on this one. If it is a first order, nothing but h equal 1, 7, and 13, so you can read it as a positive sequence. Then if the order is 5, 11, and 17, you can read it as a negative. If it is stippling harmonics or most important harmonics, uh, this will uh, cause the transformers damages and uh, other equipment may be damaged because of the heating and insulation failures. Okay, uh, now see this uh, triplin harmonics. How this triplin harmonics are produced, uh, produced into the system? So, uh, so the triplin harmonics mainly based on that effect. Triplin harmonic effect uh, uh, is mainly based on the uh, how the transformer is connected into the load, load as well as the primary side as well as second side. So, so that will uh, uh, that will cause this. Uh, so next one uh, is the we can see the some indices. What are the different uh, harmonic indices? We have we have two different types of harmonic indices are there. Nothing but the calculation, harmonic calculations are there by using these two formulas, THD, so total harmonic distortion, and, and the second one is the total demand distortion. So this THD is used for both voltage as well as current, but most of the cases we use it for the voltage, but not the current. We already seen that why why not the current. So so that's why an I triple is coming under the picture. So so that's why they can uh, again uh, define the another uh, recommendation they can give the another formula tdd total demand distortion is equal to this one this one expressly is for the current. okay so uh, by the next class by the next class we are going to see what are the sources of this harmonics so this harmonics we are divided into the our uh, sources we are divided into two categories from the industrial side from the consumer side you can see uh, how uh, consumer is injected some harmonics into the system or you can see how the an industrial uh, people uh, will get damages the system uh, due to injection of the 
harmonics we can see in next class okay thank you uh, thank you for uh, joining today's class